What's up, everybody? Um, Cody, My Little Mutants, hashtag Molly uh, Boy. New stuff going on, man. You know, uh, had reptiles all my life back in the day. I was always around them as a kid. Um, had a lot of them. Some of you might remember that. I used to, you know, hang and stuff. But, uh, you know, now I'm later in life that I can finally retain all the information involved with breeding reptiles, um, I can finally tackle that, which has like been a long-term dream of mine when I was a kid, man, you know, I always wanted to breed the snakes. I had colibrids, I had all kinds, I had pretty much every one of every reptile you can think of, I mean, anyway, long story short, I'm into some royal pythons now, never respected them back in the day, never respected the world of genetic mutations, man, what was I doing? <laughs> So, you know, I, as you can see, I basically converted my sliding closet or my little whatever closet to a little snake rack. I mean, <laughs> it's working right now. <laughs> I gotta put a couple more like single shelves down here and run the heat tape through and such for these three brand new pickups up here up top. I just got like between yesterday and today. Um, two females, so that's dope, um, so I'm just gonna make some singles down here, um, and then I'll be out of room, and be needing to get another rack, and so on and so forth, because, uh, as you can see, we're growing pretty quickly, here's my normal girl, okay, so my normal, one of my normal girls slipped out last night, she's up here, on the rig in this time, um, but she's right here, um, so we'll get her in a second. Um, I kind of started this late, you know, this is going to be a, a live feed video, mind you, um, so keep that, you know, um, whatever, if you're not about that, then keep skipping through, or stop now, but um, I started a little late because all, all my, my top two rows had, had, had just smashed a meal, and I was like, dang, like, you know, I should have been started from the beginning, but it's all good, we kind of saved the best for last, because these two twin pastel girls smash every time, they get they some good strikes in there, I got a 100% heck clown girl down here, little baby girl, she's eating great, um, got my city boy down here, hopefully he eats for me this week, he hasn't eaten for two weeks, and then, um, I'm picking up a big Enchi female for him. Try to get some uh, allelic combos going on in here. I really like the uh, allelic combinations and just like the you know the you know the uh, treasures that you get to kind of endure with with that whole spiel with the allelic combos. So you know, for example, so s s cinnamon and Enchi are allelic um, when you breed them. Uh, you, you, you can't get anything other than cinnamons and enchies. You can't get any normals and so on and so forth. So cinnamon enchie would be cool to breed to a normal female because you can't get normals. You get cinnamons and enchies or whatever. You know, you breed her to like a breed breed that combo to like a a, a powerhouse female. You know, you, you get this nothing but cinnamon and enchies and then anything else stacked on top of that that the baby's gained from that female. So that's cool. Um, Alelix are dope. I got the cinnamon and the enchi working on. I just put this out. I just got these little. I don't know. I just slide these out. You know, when I designed this, I wasn't really thinking too much, and um, which is pretty common. I do things spontaneously. Um, anyway, so I got to slide those in there to keep the lids down, keep everybody locked in. But it's not that pain. Of, it's not that much of a pain for me to like break everything and design everything redesign it all, it's whatever, so, it works, cinnamon and enchi are allelic, fire and vanilla are, are allelic, I got a fire, I got a vanilla, that's awesome, um, anyway, moving on, let's get some live strikes in, because that's what some of you, I'm sure, are looking forward to, let me see, so the homie, Ray, shout out, suddenly snakes, Brings me through some good ASFs like on the weekly right now. He's been awesome, literally. I mean, he's an old school friend, you know, but 
we're both into it, and he's an awesome mentor. He's been into it longer than me, so shout out to the homie. Um, just gonna put her here and try not to get bit, because these girls like to. So normally, I like to just kind of hang them like that. Um, that way they can get a good face <laughs> get a good face strike in um, I don't know if like, this is like preferable for some of you guys I'm sure you guys want to see her like hit it and all but you know I'm not the best uh, whatever film guy, photo photographer guy I'm just working on myself in here, so it's a new thing I'm doing with the whole social media and the channel and whatever the gram, so forgive me. This is the uh little heck clown girl. She's gonna smash it. We'll just If she gets her on the wrong angle, what kind of, if she smells it, she's coming. If she gets that rat on the wrong, get in there. Wrong kind of bite, then we can kind of show what to do to make your snakes not get bit. Yeah, see, she might. We got a good strike now. That was a solid strike. I mean, that rat has no chance right now. His face is buried in the cocoa. So, cool. Good job, girl. You know, it's dope because, you know, ASF are great. I learned because uh, the snake holds way more body weight um, from the meal. And you know, you have way less waste. Uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind when feeding your snakes. Um, ASF are generally a little more expensive. My boy gives me the hookup because he's my boy. But, you know, it's, it's worth it to feed your snakes, you know. If you're trying, especially if you're trying to get, you know, females up to size and such to all that good stuff, so. Let me uh, put this down a minute. Don't. You guys are like posted up against the ASF box. I had them standing up on two boxes. And they just knocked one. Resituate these. So yeah, I mean, like you know, patience is a virtue, right? You know, like these. Like I said, this this rack isn't the most efficient design, the most like pro guys and all that stuff, and guys that have been in to this for a while or whatever. And you know, generally, you know, I don't know. People are judgmental. It is what it is. You know. Like, this stuff works, man, you know, I, like I said, I get to be around snakes again, it's something I built myself, just kind of like, it's my big normal girl that got out last night, <laughs> just ch chilling one shelf down, normally if you get a snake, you get out, especially on a rack system like this, they're, they're on the rack somewhere, first place to look, um, but, you know, first, like, 24 hours, that snake's going to be somewhere 
most likely around that rack or in the same room or in the same vicinity. So she's got her meal in there. Let's see if she smashes. But this is my other pastel girl. So that was the Mara that smashed for you there. That th like kind of through the tub view. This is her twin sister Anya. Um, so we'll try to give you a nice, nice view of her. These girls are just like nuts, man. Hi. Cookie. You're watching Peppa Pig. I love you so much. That's Theo. Come on, bud. Hopefully this guy eats for me this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a wrench. He's got to put him in here. Oh, so this is a big boy. My big city male. Um, I mean, he's not huge or anything, but he's he's awesome. She's really awesome. I love this girl. It's my big spider girl. She uh, she's got a lot of personality. Um, I don't know. You know, a lot of the people, a lot of people out there, you know, have this like huge rap about him, the spider gene and all that. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I love the spider gene. I don't care what anybody thinks about it. Um, they're awesome. That was interesting. So, she might be going off of food, which is an awesome sign, you know, because as you can see, she's just massive girth on her. Um, I think she's going to go into like a, you know, definitely go into like her all food phase. Um, I've been breeding her since the beginning of October. It's a possible split side clutch with an NG or a pastel male. So they're gonna be cool. Um, so if she doesn't eat here in a second, I'm gonna take that rat out. Um, I'm gonna take the rat out of the Cine because he doesn't seem to be wanting to eat. He's just like interested with the thing. Here's my pastel girl smashing down hers. There's my stud. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. I mean, my bad for the quality. Like I said, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll have to get like a camera, and figure out a little bit better of a system, like record myself, I guess, doing this stuff. But you know, it's all good. Much love, man. See you later, fam, and uh, thank you for the support again. You know, keep liking, keep following, and, you know, I'm going to keep posting, and, uh, like I said, I love the community, um, I can't wait to make some, like, superpower stuff, like, all uh, these guys, like, Billy from Mutation Creation, and, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm just thinking like, all watching my snakes and all the food, alright, catch y'all later, man, peace out, thank you again.